Okay, here's our next project. It's a tangram puzzle. This puzzle is six inches by six inches on the outside, and then the tray is seven by seven. It's a great puzzle. You take all these pieces out, and you move them around to see if they can so fit in there. So here's a digital portfolio that somebody already turned in. Here's a photo of their notebook. So the first part is you need to draw this whole thing out. Then the second part is you're going to draw it in CAD. So here's a 3D model in CAD. And then the third part is you're going to run it on, you're going to design it in Mastercam, and then run it in Mastercam and walk away with one of these puzzles. And there's actually a lot of really good math in this puzzle. Uh, the first is drawing all of these parts out. And you could actually figure out all of the dimensions just from looking at, at knowing this is six and that these are halfway points. So these are isosceles right triangles in here with one leg of three, the other leg of three. And then uh, the hypotenuse, you use the Pythagorean theorem to find that. And that's three squared plus three squared, uh, 18. So this is the square root of 18. And you simplify that in a three root two. And uh, I bring this up because a kid last block who's a senior is applying to the electrician's union for next year, and they have to take an entrance exam to get into that union. He hasn't actually taken math in a couple years, so he wants me to go through these problems with him for the entrance exam for the Western Electrical Electricians Association to get into their apprenticeship program. And really, all of the math in here could all be summed up by just making this puzzle, okay? So that problem up above was Pythagorean theorem, uh, angle measures, um, a lot of square roots and radicals, and it's all in here, okay? So let me just go through this a little bit more. We have an isosceles right triangle. This also is an isosceles right triangle, but now the leg is half of the six, so the leg is three, three, this is three root two, and then the square, it's going to be half of that 3 root 2. So half of 3 root 2 is 3 root 2 over 2. So that's the dimensions of the square. I actually drew that all out, and then I uh, created an array and had nine copies of it. And then I just kept all seven of my parts, my eight part being my tray. This is actually, um, my pieces are exactly 6 by 6. So I took this rectangle and offset it um, by about 25 thousandths. So it wasn't such a tight fit. That offset of 25 thousandths gave me this fit right here. So the pieces aren't rattling around in there, but they'd probably fall out if I tried I also have out. a worksheet, and I'll just read some of these questions out. Um, once you have your puzzle, you can kind of figure these out. Uh, name all of the parts within the tangram puzzle. How many ways can you make a square with these pieces? How many different ways can you make a square with So these we've pieces? designed our tangram puzzle. Our, our tray is seven inches by seven inches, three quarter inch MDF, medium density fiber board we're making it out of. That pocket is half the thickness of three quarters, so we go three eighths down. My final piece of wood was 15 by 10, and I just doubled it up so I could make two. So I posted my file onto a flash drive, brought it out here, opened up my file, I pre-processed that file once I opened it up, and then I always preview my file. So what I'm looking for right here is I'm looking for my depths of cut, so I can see I have four depths of cuts right here, and I could also see that my bit starts in the lower left-hand corner, so I know where to put my I bit. I zero all of them, and now I'm ready to go, I pre-process. And I hit start. Finished running our part on our Techno CNC router. Let's take a look and see how it came out. There are all of our pieces. And the tray that the tangram goes into. Looks like they cut out pretty well.